In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model uh, this building. It's um, it's uh, quite popular because I, I actually wanted to show you how you can uh, parametrically do this facade in uh, Grasshopper and how you can actually manipulate these kind of waves on the facade and how you can um, get a similar look. So let's start. So first thing, uh, we're going to uh, model this top roof. I'm going to start from the top. So I'm just going to use this rounded rectangle. And I don't know the actual dimensions of the building, but I'm going to approximately use eyeball it. Something like this. And uh, let's offset it. Three something like this, maybe zero point six. And this should be good. Let's go to the perspective. Let's extrude this guy like so. Cap it. Now let's extrude the bottom one. Cap it. So we have the, um, let's extend it, yeah, something like this. I'm just checking with my reference image to see if the proportions are good. Maybe a bit wider. Okay. And a bit smaller here. Okay, so now once once I have the roof, I'll actually add the layers below. You can see that they're also uh, sequential. So let's continue. Okay, so once we have the second layer, uh, then we need to create, like, as you can see from, from behind here, uh, the pipes are starting. So each level has their own pipes. So we need to create like inset in the rectangle here. So I'm gonna duplicate border, offset it inside, and let's say 0.6. And then let's do a couple of times for the other as well. So, so that we know the depth of the uh, of the geometry there in this case. So uh, let's say that this is okay, and I'm gonna use the same the same height and here and then let's move this guy up as well. Like so. And one, two, three, and this is the last one. And this will actually be longer. Let me check. Yeah, okay. Okay, then the building starts to go inward even more. Like this okay so now I'm just going to uh, get it very quickly to just create this effect that they have in the building and some of these will be changed further so okay so now I'm just gonna move them up a little bit because I see it's not it's not completely um, the same. It's a little bit random, so I want to keep the randomness there. 
And let's say this is, um, we're satisfied with this. And now I have the base. Uh, another thing we can do is actually create this. Uh, I think it's like a rectangle here on the base. And it's, uh, it has some extrusion on this side. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so now let's get this guy up. Cap and let's resize it so it fits the base here. Okay, something like this. I'm not gonna get this perfectly well, I just want to show you the concept behind it and have creation of, of all of these uh, facade elements because they are the ones that are important for the tutorial. So I'm actually not sure this building looks like this, but let's say it does. I didn't have the time to take a look at the base plan. So um, so how do we create uh, how do we create these uh, effects. So first we need to have the positions uh, positions of for these uh, um, for these pipes that are going out. So I'm gonna actually create this it will be in this area here and here so in these three uh, places. So I'm gonna duplicate this border set and now I'm gonna go 0.3 and that's my line there. I'm gonna do the same heel here. And I'm gonna do the same here. So now I have these guys. This one, this one, and this one. What I want to do next is I want to populate these guys with line, with the, with the dots that will represent the positions of the circles that are gonna be created from those uh, from those uh, dots so let's divide this um, yeah let's try 250 okay this I like this better so we're gonna go with 250 on all of them so now I'm gonna go to grasshopper and I'm going to show you the actual definition I made um, and we're going to use these um, we're going to use these dots to connect to to get the extrusion as we want it so for example let me just copy this multiple times copy paste copy paste okay so we have one for each for each line so first of all I'm going to uh, I'm going to select all the all the dots here and I'm gonna say here select multiple points and voila we have it here but we need to flip the direction so let's go negative here and let's flip the direction like so okay then let's go next we have this second row and let's go so set multiple points and let's go negative here so we have a negative and one more I'm just gonna type negative here because I know it's the same and let's select the last points select multiple points okay so we have the we have the geometry here 
Um, and now it's all the same because we use the same um, uh, we use the same definition for all the pipes. Uh, you can see that they are actually quite dense. So let's change that. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly show you how it works and uh, how you can actually use it for your own projects. So here it's just a simple point. Um, you, you, I use this definition to uh, this command to, to gather all my points that I previously divided here. And then from this point, I'm creating a circle. This is a circle uh, with the center. And I can, here is the radius. So let's just change the radius right away now. So let's change to 0 0.1 to see what happens. And you can see that they're changing here. So let's go with 0 0.2. And I think this is, this is good. Maybe slightly less. 0 0.18 for example let's go with that and that's that that's good okay so i'm gonna change 0 0.18 to all of them have because we want to have the consistent radius through all of the all of the floors and now let's move on so so i'm actually having a circle I'm having a um, having a point that's creating a circle that's extruding and at the end I'm capping the extrusion so I have the uh, the tops closed and then this part of the definition is a little bit complex but it's not a big deal so basically what it does it actually allows me to map the numbers and map the the values of the extrusion distance and uh, use them uh, with this a graph mapper option which means that I can actually change the shape of the extrusion if I move these here let me show you so it's gonna gonna take a while but let's see so if I move this guy up you can see that the shape is actually changing I'm gonna I'm gonna hide all of this for now so that you can see better. So you see how it changed. That's the the beauty of Grasshopper that you can play around. You can play around with these sliders and moving the handles up and down, and you can get different results. So I'm just gonna randomly now select some of these and. Uh, I can uh, you can actually change the type of the graph here for example this conic one and you see how it all changed if you move the, this element in the middle it's moving the actual shape so it's useful to just play around with it and see what kind of results you can get I think they use this one probably okay Okay, so now let's, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit and then see what, what suits me the best and then we'll continue from there. Uh, let's say that I'm happy with this. So now the next thing is to bake this geometry and let's just click here bake choose the layer group it Bake choose the layer group it and Bake choose the layer Yes Okay, now we can Now we can turn off and 
and this is our result. This is our geometry now in Rhino that you can use to manipulate and change. So it's not exactly the same like this building, but I just wanted to show you the concept behind behind it and how you can create the similar effect. Hope that you like it and uh, I will render this now and show you the final image later. Um, in case you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Here is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.